What's poppin' gamers? Welcome back to Clam Man. Um, I feel like I, I thought about it, and I feel like just the bartender is the best, my best bet right now. So I just kind of have to go through the dialogue with him, and I don't remember the voice I gave him. Oh no! Uh, surprise me! How about a swift jab to the face? That'd be awful. Yeah, but it'd be surprising. Now tell me what you want before I surprise you again. Uh, how come this club is so exclusive? Exclusive? Oh right, you were talking to Ted earlier. Eh, I don't know. But you're the owner, aren't you? you? Gotta at least be happy you're doing well. Look, man, I haven't got time to brag. Between running this place, keeping, tracks of, keeping track of everything, and bartending, I don't even have enough time to talk to my reflection in the mirror. I gotta be on top of everything, making sure everything is going to plan. Fine, but if you had to pick one thing that'd make this place more exclusive, what would it be? <sighs> well, the facilities are nice. Oh yeah, I saw you were renovating the bathroom. Someone's renovating the bathroom? How long have you been bartending? A long time! I was the bartender here before I became owner. So you know your stuff? Sure do. What's your point? Any good stories? Well, this one time an idiot came in asking for stories. Okay, I get the hint. Got any signature drinks? I do. Don't think you're man enough for it though. Oh, what's in it? Two parts gin, two parts herb, and Ames liquor, one part pickle juice. A teaspoon of mayo, two parts industrial strength rubbing alcohol, hints of actual poison, garlic, parsley, two parts dry white wine, some popcorn kernels, a pair of scissors, and if you have one, a small rock. I call it the sledgehammer mustache. The sledgehammer mustache? Just one is enough to smash you to bits. And the mustache? Eh, I like the sound of it. No symbolic meaning? It smells bad if you set it on fire. Is it flammable? It used to be, back when the recipe contained raw motor oil. Had to change it due to a ridiculous health and safety thing. Really took the sting out of it. Can you mix me a sledgehammer mustache? Big boy, huh? Well, you're out of luck. I just sold the last one. Can't you just make a new one? Didn't you hear the ingredients? That takes at least an hour. <coughs> God. Sometimes my voices for this game destroy my throat. Besides, it's not strictly legal to make those substances indoors. I have a lab. If you want to taste, you'll have to get it from somewhere else. What did you put in? I don't want to ask that. Flammable? You? Oh, I knew that already. Uh, actually, I don't care about this after all. I bet he has one. I bet because I think he's the only person we're seeing with a drink, right? Orange patron. Hey. Hey. So I kind of need that drink of yours. Sure. I'll wait. What? Sure. I'll take it. No, take it. Just like that. No errand to run or item I need to trade? Nah, take it! But if you really want to do something for me, <coughs> listen to my story. Sorry, I don't have time right now. That's alright! Enjoy the drink, amigo! Hello. Can I... Wait, I don't have motor oil, so yeah, I can't flammable it. Boop. Oh. Uh... Is that all I needed? Is that all I needed? Question mark? Air vent. What? Maybe I could light it on fire somehow. Okay. Hello? Bathroom 2? I don't need to go right now. What do I fuck? What do I do? Hey, does anyone have any matches? Yeah, football team! Ha <laughs> ha! What? No, matches, as in fire, a lighter. Fire? You wanna lose weight? <laughs> no, I'm saying I need to light something on fire. Well, if it's already on fire, why do you need to light it? <laughs> Seriously, you guys aren't even being clever. Maybe we're not clever, but at least we're not stupid. <laughs> this is dumb. You're dumb. Oh, fine. Maybe this will lighten you up. Matches? Ha 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 ha! Matches is all I freaking needed! Let's burn this shit! Hell yeah! Oh, look at that. Hey guys, there's a fire! Uh, Petrov, did you? I did not! You smell it too? Of course he does, I do too! It's awful! It smells like someone hit me on the head with a manhole cover. The stinky manhole. It smells like someone burned rubber on a road made of burned rubber. It smells like some kind of horrible poison that kills other poisons. Oh, whoops. It smells like someone was dead, then came back to life, farted, and died again. It smells like... 
Burnt popcorn, mayonnaise, parsley, a small rock were set on fire in a bath of industrial strength alcohol. It smells like all the above. Horrible! Horrible. Horrible. Come on, boys, we can't stay here. Get out, get out, get out! <laughs> Alright, I should probably take this back. Work like a charm, smells like something else, I, I think. Or I guess I don't need to take it back. Alright, let's see what they were hiding. Wow. I've never seen this much mayonnaise in one room before. And I worked in a mayonnaise factory. Alright, I better have a good look at everything before I, in here before I leave. Just look at all this. Why keep this all here? Why? Where did they get all this? They're all economy jumbo sized fun packs. Literally a ton. This is a fortune in mayonnaise. It's a handwritten letter. Paper looks expensive. It even has a sigil. Ooh, loud mouth and handsome face. I've been patient with the two of you, as you followed my orders quite satisfactory. But as I read through the shipment details and attached letters, it becomes clear to me that I will have to lecture the both of you regarding this. The two of you will keep things formal. Do not forget that I oversee every minute, every minute detail of my plans, and that includes your correspondence. If I see one more letter with ridiculous language, parentheses and colons, or anything irrelevant to your task, I will take action. You both know what that means. I hope I've made myself clear. It's not signed, but there's a stamp at the end. It must be written by the mastermind of all of this, and honestly, I can't say I don't agree with him. What? So, portrait. It's a portrait. I think there's something written on the frame, though. Lady and Red, 1893. The woman in the portrait famously coined the saying, Frank, get out of bed and back to work, or, help, or so help me God. I already did that. What do I- oh, filing cabinet. Yeah, she did find out. I'll take care of it, though. The leak will be sealed, lol. To make up your worries, I wrote you a little something. Roses are red, violets are blue. The sun in the sky reminds me of you. The jellyfish sharps as they play in the mud. Here's the next ship and you big handsome stud. Lol, winky face. I think I've read enough. Filing cabinet three. Letter has faintly- has a faint smell of something fruity. Perfume? Hey there, loudy! First off, one of my minions started asking questions. I wouldn't worry just yet, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Here's the mayo, blah blah blah. The new McGregor McGregorson boys movie is showing in the Spritz House Friday night. Can't wait to see you again, XOXOXO, your handsome face. Huh, her? Another letter. Dear Mr. Loudmouth, I enjoyed our meeting yesterday. We seem to have quite a lot in common. I listened to the take you gave me, and I particularly found a track 5. Anyway, here's the product. Hope to hear from you soon. Signed, Mr. Handsome Face. Or seemingly random numbers, and it's a list of Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise products. Have a look in here. Some kind of correspondence. Mr. Loudmouth, I hope you find today's shipment satisfactory. The amount sent what what was agreed upon during our earlier meeting. So far, no questions have been asked. Looking forward to our future meetings. Signed, Mr. Handsome Face. After that, there's a bunch of numbers. There's no logic to them. Um... Clicked on oh desk. Didn't sound like the girl at the bar gets much use out of this room anymore. So either those three gangsters use it as an office, or someone else does. I think I've seen enough to start drawing conclusions. Someone has been smuggling mayo out of the company into the hands of these gangsters, and it certainly sounds like it's Bosman, the sneaky son of a. Now I know Bosman is handsome face, and the gangster he's in contact with is loudmouth, but I still don't know who that is exactly. Besides, this isn't enough. I definitely need proof. I need names, dates, and numbers. That's how I take these guys down. And I know where to get it. The Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise Company Records Office! Two. You go, Clam Man. Getting into the Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise Company Records Office was no simple ordeal. Knowing he simply could he couldn't simply walk in there and have a look, the Clam Man had to think of another way to get through the records, so he hatched a cunning plan. He would break into the Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise Company records office under the cover of night. This, of course, was no small feat, and the clam man knew this. So he made a list of items he needed for the great break-in. A hook took onto the side of the building, a rope to then climb the side of the building with, a map to know which side of the building he was supposed to break into. There were four possibilities, three too many. Satisfied with his plan, the clam man took to the streets to acquire the items he need. Caps lock. Yeah, seems fair. Makes sense. Vaccines. Close sign. No disclosure. Alright, if I hurry, I can break into the office tonight. A rope, a hook, and the floor pans. 
Couldn't be too hard, right? Looks like someone went missing. Missing, Sandy. Long, beautiful blonde hair, joyful demeanor, and a green snorkel. I miss you, Sandy. I'm trying, but it's so hard without you. I should have recognized it sooner. We may just have been playing, but you were the real catch all along. I'll do whatever it takes to find you again, I swear. Uh, door. It's late. You know the code? Yes. Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Alright, in that case. Hey, the gooseberries and coming in nice and here, and so are the mangoes. Mango, shmango, bingo, bongo! Clearly, I have no idea what the code is. Get lost. Aw. Yes. Uh. Burma! Why'd you say Burma? I panicked. You clearly have no idea what the code is. Get lost. Yes. Uh. Yes, now, um, let me in. Clearly, I have no idea what the code is. Yes. No, they're not, wink wink. You clearly have no idea, get lost, yes. Uh, yes. You're the r you're, you are right on that point, my good man. Alright, no. Oh, well dang. Go to apartment. What the fuck? Short message, stops kind of abruptly. The power that be will very- the powers that be will very soon see their- it's the fucking duck. What a policeman. Beats me, kid. I just found him here a minute ago. He's coming for us! He's coming for all of us! Oh, forgive me! Forgive me! I've been going on like this the whole time. I asked him what was what he was what he was doing here, and well, listen, you, what were you doing here before I found you? I was going to break into this building and steal everything. That's honest. It is and strange. Aren't you gonna arrest him? I already arrested him. That was easy. The other part I'm having trouble with. I can't get him out of the ropes. There's no way. Can I have a look at the knot. Knock yourself out. Huh. Gordian, isn't it? Wait, isn't a Gordian just the one that you can just... pull? So yeah, that's the problem. I can't take him back to the station like this. Why not? We can't fit him... In... We can't fit a lamppost in this cell. Thanks, I'll see if I can figure something out. Much appreciated. He sees all, he sees all. Over to tie that not knew what they are doing. Or not. Ha 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 Plus, it's appeal now. Now it's just a something of its. <laughs> That's goofy. All right, back to Main Street, I guess. Uh, trash. Anything in here? Look at that. Complete garbage. Mannequin. That will never be creepy. Ugh. Or never not be creepy. I don't know what he said. Oh. Newspaper vending machine. Looks like the latest news. New study shows that only one in ten people can spell grammar. Editor editorial, people need to stop breaking into my car. Public discontent with May Mayor at press conference. Mayor King accused of taking his position too lightly as he plays table tennis in a city council meeting. As one does. It's Billy! Hey, Bill. Hey, dude. How's unemployed and treating you? Not super well. D guys, I'm gonna be honest. The voices, they just left me right now. <laughs> but I'm solving mysteries, so I got that going for me. Did you say mysteries? Yeah, I mainly conspiracies and stuff. Or a uh, conspiracy. Oh boy, oh boy! Please let me help, please let me help, please let me help, please let me help, please let me help. Like, dude, I love mysteries so damn much. The only thing I love more is conspiracies. Oh boy! Conspiracy not, huh? I resent that, but yes. And the preferred term is intrigue enthusiast, if you please. Or drama queen. Well, here's what I know. Plan man then proceeded to tell Billy's story so far. Now I'm trying to sneak in to find out more. Some stuff I still need before I can do that, though. Any so thoughts? Hmm. Hmm? Oh, nothing. Just a little disappointed. What? I was hoping for something juicier. I mean, the ingredients are there. Evil corporation, smuggling, the mob. But it lacks a certain je ne sais pas. Have you thought about humans? But what now? Humans. They control the world through a secret network of spies and contacts. They have internet satellites that control rays and toasters with, to with turny button things that lie to you and spread discontent. Who told you this? The lizard guy, I know. Sounds insane. Probably lives in a cave somewhere. No, he's an executive lizard guy. Really? Well, fantastico. Really? That's nuts. I know, right? Crazy, and nobody seems to notice. But I do, dude. I notice. They won't slip one past me. Not old Billy. Um, ideas on what I should do? Eh. Get the stuff on your list. Gee, you don't say. What do you need again? First, I need rope. This rope in a knot, in a knot shop nearby. Owner's a friend of mine. Well, I say friend, but that's a lie. I don't know the owner. That's such a weird thing to lie about. Second, I need the floor plans. What's the plan here? Well, I... You know, for someone who's very adamant about his interest of the duck of truth earlier today. You're being very quiet about him. I don't like to talk about work when I'm off duty. Shining on a street corner doesn't scream work or duty to me, Billy. Go ahead and make jokes. I've got a job. You don't. Come on, man. 
Last thing I need a hook. Oh, hello. It's to interrupt this line of dialogue, but I have something of an announcement. Hmm. I'm in the middle of the game. <laughs> hello. Hello, and welcome to the middle of the game. The moment where we take a break and invite you, the player, to join us, the game developers, in Find the Fish. We're going to show you a scene from another game and ask you to guess where the fish is. But if you think you know, don't keep it to yourself. Post it all over the internet so everyone can see. So here we are. Oh guys, it's the internet! Hello, internet! Find the fish. The scene has been removed in response to a report from copyright holder. Hey guys, it's a fish! I found it! Guys, it's right here! Oh look! You found it! Well done! Jolly good show! Right! Well then, back to our regularly scheduled programming. So anyway, that's how I ended up with a spare hook. <laughs> that's a fantastic story, you should write that down, you think? For sure. You should make a movie out of that. Or a game. Yeah, games need more good stories. You're telling me. Anyway, can I have the hook? Sure thing, my dude. Alright, peace, guy. Whatever floats your boat, clam man. Fox Alley, this... Oh wait, she might have... Guy enjoying a slice. Looks like he's co confessing his love for that slice of pizza. A little cheesy, but good for him. Or both of them. Can't believe she built all this in just a day. Sad and depressing. I'm gonna sort it all out, Lindsay. Don't you worry. He probably has a map, right? It's like a poem. Most a moment when life takes a turn. Mayo, mayo, mayo. Embrace the chances of new ideas. Churn, empty mayo, mayo. Cherish the new things. You will have time to learn. Empty mayo, empty, empty mayo. Cardboard painting? Look at this art. Plants? Looks fishy. Ah, uh, it's funny because it has fish on the, uh, thing. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I found it. Or at least what I think it is. Hey, future me, don't forget your mantra. Embrace, cherish, relish. Aw, oh, dang. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could it be eight, eight, seven? Because of the no. All right. Well, let's let's go back and do something else, I guess. Uh, I guess. Did I talk to the criminal yet? I don't think I did. Oh no. I clicked off. I clicked on. Oh no! I clicked off the game again. The apartment. Hello. What happened to you? I was caught by the snack bay vigilante while I was trying to break into this building. This one. I live here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing worth stealing inside. You got a TV? You, no. Why are you being so honest? I don't know. I can't actually control it. Are you a skilled criminal? Not at all. I'm a complete and utter failure in every way. Wow, that's a bit harsh, but honest. Any embarrassing stories you, I can make you tell? Yes, loads of them. Go on. With what? The embarrassing stories? Just because I've been made to be honest doesn't mean I'm going to run my mouth about everything. It takes a question to get an answer, not to mention an honest one. Did you ever see your... Did you ever pee your pants in public? Yes. Ever call your teacher mom? Fourteen times, all in all. Do you ever put relish on toast? Daily. Alright, that's too much. Ugh. Relish on toast. How are you connected with the criminal underworld? I'm clear it's level 3, not the highest, but not C tier either. So you know a fair bit of what's going on in the city. A lot! So you're connected to... So if you're connected, you know any secret codes and handshakes? Only one, but it's the only one I need for rope. Huh, what is it? Long strand made of... St <laughs> the code. Alright, here it is. When, uh... Disagree, and after that, mention a whole wheel of Parmesan. What? Parmesan? You're not being too specific there. It doesn't have to be specific. It's the usual code. We like to play fast and loose with our lingo. Parmesan, cheddar, brie, whatever. Point is, cheese is the key. Okay. Anyway. Bye, then. Hello, door. Slate, know the code? Yes. Alright, in that case... Something, something, something mangoes. Uh, mine aren't. Yes, go on. Cameron Bear, aren't you going to say yours aren't, but the big cheese gets his high, gets his at low tide tonight? Yeah? Very good, come on in. Alright guys, I feel like, oh, it's, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a cutscene for so far, so I can't end it off there. 
I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know of any of these. What's a flying Dutchman? All right, now I can probably save. If you guys like the video, that's the end of it. So too bad on liking it. If you guys like the video, give it a like. If you like me, give me a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. That'd be super cool. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.